Hi, this is James Moss. I'm wrapping up the Friday 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Wrapping up with the big one. Right here. Freddy vs. Jason. This big movie came out on August 15th, 2003. I saw this film in theaters when I was nine when I was when I was 19 years old in 2003. I saw it, it blow my freaking ass mind off. Oh, it was awesome. Well, anyway, let's get down to the film. Robert England played Freddy Krueger one last time. As Freddy Krueger explained, When I was alive, I was the Springwood Slasher. I would kill you. But then they burned me alive. That was their problem. <laughs> I decided to kill them, killing their kids in the one place they could not get to them, in their dreams. They tried to stop me. They try to kill me, but somehow they say they're not afraid of me. Being forgotten as with a bitch, and it really pissed me off. Yeah, everyone in Springwood decided to forget about him. They even censored his names, just like the FCC and Communist China. Well, anyways, F Freddy came up with a plan to get everybody to remember his name in Springwood for good by resurrecting Jason Voorhees. This time, Jace is not played by by King Harder. He's played by Ken Kersey-Zinger. Oh, whatever. He was, well, Ken appeared in Part 8 of Friday the 13th as, as the guy who works at that at that restaurant. Then Freddy, then Jason killed him. Anyways, Ken is, is Jason now. Anyways, Freddy enters um, Jason's uh, mind and pretends to be Jason's mom. He said, you must wake up. Get everybody to remember in your name. And then it happened. Jason came back to to life. Meanwhile in Springwood, Lori, played by Monica Kane, and her friends were just were just having a sleepover at Lori's place. Formerly known as Freddy Cougar's house when when suddenly some two guys show up at their place, at Lori's place, crashing the slumber party. Well, well, well unaware that Jason appeared. Jason killed that guy by folding the bed in half like this. That was a good scene. And then killed the other guy. The three girls just run screaming bloody murder. They call the police. The sheriff told that guy to silence. Doesn't want nobody to remember Freddy's name. What an ass. Anyways. Anyways, at the police station. They're trying to... The cops are trying to get the girl some questions like, Yeah, you've been sleeping. Who you've been dreaming? No one. But then, Lori noticed... Noticed a, a little girl, but had her eyes torn apart. She woke up. Anyways, meanwhile at that mental hospital, there was the same place from the third Elm Street film when Will, played by Jason Ritter, John Ritter's son, Jason's father, John Ritter, died in 2003, the same year as this movie came out. Anyways, anyways, Will and his, Will and his um, friend Mark, played by him, Brandon Fletcher were at the at the mental place because they were sent there. He secretly got a glimpse of the news and told the guy, "Turn it up, damn." The two dis Mark events will that they're going to escape, and he said, "Went with them." Mark pretended to have a fight. Will grabbed the car, and the two escaped the facility. Then we get to to Springwood High when. When when Laura, when Lori and her friends trying to recover, when when Will and Mark appear, Mark tell her, tell tell them about Freddy who Freddy Cougar is. The two split when they saw the principal. Let's see. Oh yeah, Kara K I A, played by Kelly Rowland, who she was a member of Destiny's Child at the time, was sleeping in the in the nurse's office when. Freddy grabbed her nose and says, Got your nose, huh? She woke up. 
And then we get to uh, that night at a wild party. It was at a rave party in the corn field. Something out of children at the corn when when everybody was partying when when one of Lori's friend dozed off into the dream sequence. Freddie almost got her but but Jason killed her before he got to Freddie was pissed. No she was mine And then Jason killed the guy who's going to re going to go after this going to make out with this this girl and then everyone got killed at the party except for some that managed to escape everybody ran from their lives we'll tell Lori the reason why he was sent here because that your father killed your dad killed your mom but then her dad Dr. Campbell appeared grabbed Will out of there and took took Lori home. Lori wants to know what happened to her to her mom. She punched her father, pushed him off the stairs, and then run off. Later later that later and then later the cops appear. The cops trying to figure out what's going on, but but Deputy Stubb is the only one saying, I know who did and the sheriff says, Shut up. That's when Stubb walked out. When when Mark was at his place, looking at the photos that had been censored off, he remembered his picture of his brother. He falls asleep. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Lori was at every at 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 somebody else's at Freebird's place. She told Will, "You were right. Freddie did." It was, it was my dad killed my mom. When suddenly, Deputy Stubbs appears saying, it was Jason Voorhees who did it. That's when, that's when he real, that's when Lori, that's when Lori and real real. And so they went over to Mark's to get some help. That's when Mark fell asleep in fears when he saw his brother in this top thing. Nobody even remember me. They couldn't get no. Ah. And it was too late. Mark was killed. The two saw his body, and in the back saying, "Freddy's back." It was the only person that Freddy had actually killed someone. Anyways, they went over to the mental facility to get the drug, ephemeral, it, it, hypnocell. It was hypnocell. It was the only known drug to keep him away, to suppress the dreams. They went over there. And there was a bloody. Jason got there and killed the security guard. Trying to get the hypno. Trying to get the. To get the hypno cell. Freebird was free. Freebird was dreaming and then looking at the caterpillar. Oh man. Sorry about that. I was distracted. What I was saying. Oh yeah. Freddy controls Freebird and dumped all the hypno cells into the sink. But they grabbed some of it. And then and then Freebird's controlling being controlled by Freddy says, oh, I got this one. Beat Jason, but Freebird got killed. The survivors managed to escape. Well Deputy Stubb got killed by Jason anyways. And then they made it to the, to the van when that's when Lori realized Freddy was killed by fire. Jason was killed by water. So she went into the to the dream, into the nightmare. And, and then she went into Camp Crystal Lake's dream when she saw... When she sees Jason Voorhees being drowned, trying to alert the, the counselors, but they were making out when Freddy appeared. And then she, and then she fell into him on, on the night her mom died. But she found out that, that her dad didn't kill, didn't kill her mom. It was Freddy kill her mom because she remembered Freddy. And then brought Freddy out. That's when she real. And then that's when, that's when, that's when the ultimate matchup happened. The van got crashed into a cabin, and that's when the match happens. When all of a sudden, 
a fine weekend. Mama's boy. Jason attacks Freddy, then Freddy attacks Jason. There was an all around matchup. And then we get to to Camp Crystal Lake. Kara trying to distract Freddy, and then she says a lot of stuff to make the story shorter. Freddy points at, at Jason, and then Jason kill, kill her. And her, she was killed by the tree. Anyways, that's when Loria goes after Freddy, saying, You killed, this is for him, you killed my mom. Will says, what? Freddy kill my mom. Freddy kill my mom, not my dad. And then she attacks Freddy and says, This is for my mom. She attacks Freddy and then and then and they attack Jason and then it was over. And then something out of Apocalypse now when Jason grabbed Freddy's head and then Freddy winks like this. Ah ha ha Well that's the end of the movie. It was pretty good. Directed by Ronnie Yu. Who directed Brian of Chucky? This is a good matchup film. I'm giving this a five out of five. It is awesome, bloody good. Yep, I like this film. Well, I'm not going to cover the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the Thirteenth because I don't have those, so I'm not going to cover it. But we'll do a a a a a, a top ten list of the best Freddy and Jason films. When I get when we get to the new year, I'll get on it. I promise. For my next review, I'm going to review the Stephen King um, film Christine, directed by John Carpenter. Until then, ready for round two for the confirm. Well, see ya.